coral reefs are under a bigger threat than we've previously thought. High ocean temperatures can trigger coral bleaching, where marine algae, which provide coral with food and energy, are expelled. Without their main source of nutrition, coral can die unless conditions return to normal. But a new study has found that severe marine heat waves not only cause coral bleaching events, but can directly kill the coral animal itself. Associate Professor Tracy Ainsworth says, what we're seeing is that severe marine heat wave events can have a far more severe impact than coral bleaching. The water temperatures are so warm that the animal dies and its underlying skeleton is all that remains. Exposed coral skeletons then become overgrown with a covering of microbes, which dissolve the coral skeleton, making it more brittle and porous. Using novel bio-optical imaging techniques, researchers were able to visualise this rapid transition in the coral microbiome for the first time. Associate Professor David Suggett and Dr Emma Camp say, with this technique, we can see microbial communities go from symbionts to harmful coral skeleton dissolvers. Adopting these techniques will broadly be central to understanding how this process occurs on reefs globally. Severe marine heat waves are becoming more common due to changing climate, highlighting the need to take action at local and global levels to minimise damage to coral. While a bleached reef can recover again, a killed reef cannot. With over half a billion people globally depending on marine ecosystems for their livelihoods, the degradation of coral reefs has far-reaching consequences. The Australian Academy of Science. Follow our Facebook page.